Hello everyone, welcome back to the walkthrough. Oh boy. Mario, you got a letter from Princess Peach. Dear Mario, I wrote this letter just to tell you I'm really enjoying the Bowser bondage sessions, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Alrighty, so there we go, 501 ups, and we're off. Uh, I already got the right world. I think I will actually save this for a little bit later on and just head over to Flipsville. That's probably the best way to go because that's an expensive Hungry Luma. Very, very Hungry Luma. Flip flip flopping in Flipsville. As per the name here, we're going to be doing a lot of gravity flipping. See the direction of the arrows? That is the way the gravity is going. Oh, and those enemies there, they're pup dozers. They're, they're pretty friendly guys, they don't really hurt you unless you touch them. They just kind of walk over those grates over and over all day long and all night long and... It, it's all that they do. I, I don't even know how they survive. It's just... What, what do they eat? <laughs> when do they eat? Who knows? Who knows? So yeah, now, see when you go through one of these panels, it flip-flops around. Yup, yup, yup. Okay, so I'm gonna go around here. So it flips not only your position on this house-like structure, but also the gravity. Ah, that thing's back looks so pointy! Oh, don't be afraid of it. It's, it's, it's pretty harmless as long as you just don't touch it. Just just let it go. Just It's like watching an animal at the zoo, like a tiger or something. You don't poke the tiger, you don't try and pet the tiger, you just, you just ignore the tiger. Or, you know, you could... If the tiger's on the other side of the grate, you could do that. Because did you see how it had a sunburst like thing on its belly from the other side? Yeah, it's weak against ground pounds. Oh, you got the same. I thought you were going to say something different because I killed it in front of you. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, soft bellies look so squishy. Oh, that's the hint to killing them off, I suppose. <laughs> and the controls are very weird here. Uh, I don't know how I how to really describe this. Okay, I'm, I'm pressing up here. Down, up, down, up. You see how that works? Yeah, it's, it does, it's not really what you would think. <laughs> hey, how's it going there, Green Toad? Is that our captain? Is that our Toad captain? <laughs> I didn't get way up there! I don't know, maybe, maybe he found his way through there. Maybe he's a puzzle-solving treasure tracker, deep at heart. Who knows, who knows? Maybe we'll see in some future game or something. Who knows? <laughs> uh, bonus thing I might as well check out first. Uh, this might be difficult. Oh! Especially when I do that. <laughs> I was gonna say, it might be difficult because I'm gonna have to kind of chain my jumps on them for maximum efficiency, but I don't know, with their wiggly spinniness, it's very easy to miss them on a jump. Uh, oh, 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 can we get all three? No, of course not, we were too long. And you notice on the other side of that bonus, well, you know, I, I can actually do this, by the way. You don't have to wait for them to flip with you. I mean, you don't have to move. Oh, you don't have to wait for them to move away. But yeah, on the other side of this, Comet Metal, baby. <laughs> but here, I'll just show you really quick. You're just gonna, gonna kind of have a good time there. And oh, well, that, that wasn't. Yeah, you don't really. I just want to show you. You don't really have to wait for them to, be, to for them to flip the panel. You just. Maybe I shouldn't risk it. Maybe I shouldn't risk it at this point. But yeah, I don't think you actually need to uh, wait for them to do anything. Uh, you just have to have enough room to actually spin the panel. Uh, I think this is where Toad is, you know, Captain Toad, so I'm not gonna spin there. <laughs> no scary monsters up here! I'm safe for now! Ah, oh, Mario! I'm just making sure we're all clear! Sure, sure. Ah, sir! We spotted a monster over there! Oh no! Oh no! Oh yes! There's a boss here, and it's actually not named in the title. <laughs> Just, just, uh, just to say here that those little enemies, you know, the ones that we've been flipping on these panels, known as Pup Dozers, the boss has a similar name. By the way, you cannot flip the panels and there's a chomp over them. Just showing you that for the future. Got it good. Oh, weird controls. Weird, weird controls. <laughs> 
you got I just it's hard to describe. You gotta you gotta play this for yourself to really, really understand. <laughs> Obviously there's a life extension duder in the pit of death. There we go. Uh, hurry, 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 go, go, go. Oh boy, here we go. I gotta hit the right direction. Okay, I got it. <laughs> oh no, my star bits! My star bits. Disappointing. Disappointing, but there is some more coming over there. Oh, I missed. I missed. <laughs> I guess. Wait, can you actually do this infinitely? I, I never really noticed this before. Like, could you have these guys smash each other over and over and keep getting star bits from it? Like, large amounts of star bits? Or do they keep getting more and more scarce? Uh, okay, they stopped. Uh, it says you can't abuse it. Okay, that makes sense. Because I was going to say, that might be the best star bit grinding place in the game, then, if you really need to get star bits. <laughs> You're out of here. Um, I think I want to take this side first. Uh, yes, because this is the dead end side. And then I'll... Actually, I don't, I don't even need to... I don't even need to go back to the other side, do I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, except, you know, weird controls, that's a thing, too. But yeah, all I have to do is flip this panel with our pup dozer. Um, yeah, if you wanted to... on that, but... yeah. <laughs> didn't, didn't even need to take that path, but I did anyway, I guess. <laughs> uh, well, it is, the controls are just so, so weird in this area, it's... It's not the most comfortable of things to play, let me tell you. <laughs> oh wait, hold on a sec, I just want to see one more thing here. Is it possible to get on top of this house? Uh, yes. <laughs> there's a, wow, there's actually a little weather vane up here. <laughs> and I think, I don't even need to use the other side to land on this, yeah. So at this point, you got you gotta flip gravities to go on the side that you want to to avoid the said spiky block. Uh, let's see up ahead here. I don't know which side I want to be on. I'll probably eventually need to go to the other side. Yeah, I just want you to keep flip flopping here. Uh, weird controls, and then we go, loop. and then we go. Actually, uh, do we need to? We probably don't need to do this. Let's just test it again. <laughs> yeah, you've got quite a bit of flexibility to move around these particular parts. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Uh, smash that. Yeah, I'll flip that. And there we go. <laughs> and I don't even need that. Off we go. Oh, the ship. Hungry Luba. According to my investigation, you must lure Glam Dozer in close, then Kerthump! Know what I mean? Yeah, that's the name of the boss, Glam Dozer. They finally gave the name. <laughs> you could upgrade your health to get a 1 up, but I've already got a health upgrade from that death pit, so we're good to go. <laughs> Whoa, Starbit, 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 Ooh! Hmm. Hmm? Hmm? Mm. Wow. Hmm. Well, there's nothing we can do. I'll just I'll just leave him be. Oh wait, maybe there is something we can do. Oh, oh! <laughs> That's not gonna make it happy though. <laughs> oh man! The battle is on. So lead him over to one of these panels and then flip. <laughs> <laughs> that's the name of the game here. So we're gonna go do it again. Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh, it's got lava. I tried jumping off it, as you've seen. But now, yeah, when, when you go to the other side, eventually he's gonna follow you to that other side by walking around the edges as well. So that's, uh, that, that, that could be a problem. Oh, that's definitely a problem. <laughs> so what you gotta figure out is, how do you beat this monstrosity? How? How now? Well... Hello? I, I just... Yeah, you gotta lead him around, basically. <laughs> uh, you, you can hit him on either side just fine, but the thing about it is that you've always gotta get him 
on one of these panels on the other side. It takes takes a little bit of finesse to do, but it's doable. Ooh, but ooh, but ooh, but. And yeah, the lava when it goes inside said. Whoop. When it goes inside said holes, it clogs up the panels. Okay, come on. Yeah! Oh, perfect opportunity missed! So, so sad. I almost had it. Uh, okay, I got it there. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't cooperate with you, so it's it's one of those sorts of RNG speedrun speedrunner nightmare areas. So just just keep keep at it until you get it. You'll you'll get it. <laughs> If you know how to attack them, you've got this battle in the bag. In theory. <laughs> I like how you can see the shadows from the other side as well. That's that's pretty helpful to know where they're going. Uh, it's not going to go around that one panel, is it? No, it's going to go... Uh, I tried again. <laughs> uh, going around again? See? <laughs> Sometimes it decides to flip. Other times it decides to spit. Uh, over here. Over here, because you you clogged up that one and that one pretty pretty fierce. It's like it's like a bad toilet clog. Uh, okay, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> I assure you, this is possible. But yeah, you see, there's not there's not really any way to influence that other than just hoping that he goes along and does what you want him to do. <laughs> Eventually, it go it goes over the panels, but well off. Oh. So it'd be a clock panel. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh you stinker! <laughs> it was going straight for that panel, and... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's part of the idea of the shadow, because you can actually see where the poop... And yeah, you can also flip across the sides as well, obviously, because it's got a rounded edge, but it's not super useful to do that, because it's faster to flip using the panels. It might be handy to do so in some cases, though. Uh, over here, over here. Oh, wait, 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 oh, oh. you... <laughs> I can't believe it's how badly it's cooperating. <laughs> and it's not gonna come over here, is it? Probably. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, it's not. It's not. I'm gonna try something here. Like, maybe I can get it to, whoops, stop on one of these panels, and then I walk around to the other side. Like, do this, and then... Oh, that's the way to do it! How come I never thought of that before? <laughs> Yay! Oh, yeah! <laughs> so I guess maybe it's not a speedrunner's nightmare if you know how to manipulate it. Uh, although, maybe I just got lucky there and it just happened to do what I wanted at that particular time. I don't know. <laughs> well, that was, that was kind of long, but I only got one star, so I think... I think there be other stuff to do in this part. At least one more thing. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Any comments? I think there's gonna be probably a comment at this, at this point. Uh, well, obviously this is not a comment, but this is just the un unlocking of worlds. Uh, no. Oh, we do get mail though. <laughs> <laughs> Must be for the Luma. A letter, letter, addressed to the Luma, baby! Luma has arrived! <laughs> if you are ever feeling alone, just know that your friends are behind you. I hope the attached item is helpful. May the stars shine down on you. Star bits? Probably. Yeah, of course there's star bits. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're off. <laughs> And now, I think... Oh, therefore I know there's another star. <laughs> Flip film galaxy. Star number two. For me and you, Flipsville's new digs. What could they mean by that? Well, yeah, it's a dig tower. <laughs> so we're going to be digging in all sorts of directions. I don't think it's that long of a level, though, so it should should go pretty smoothly overall. Uh oh, oh, we can choose Ouija here. Yes, same dialogue, so I'm just gonna click through that. And since we can choose Ouija, we will be Ouija. Yeah, yeah. 
Why not? Alright, so now instead of flip panels, we've got there. It really doesn't make all that big of a difference, other than you can't see what you're drilling into. <laughs> see that? Yeah. So it's basically the same layout as it was before, only with said duders. Yeah, flipped around. It's not not a big deal or anything like that. Just just no flip panels and Mega Koopas or mechanical ball, mini Bowsers, whatever you want to call them. And, and so we go through. It. <laughs> hey, what? Hey, what? So yeah, we actually gotta go through it like this this time, I think. Because oh yeah, I didn't show this in the last time. The this, this part this part is uh, you gotta jump. Yeah, from that side over. Yeah. <laughs> My brigade bailed on me when they got scared. What happened to bravely exploring the unknown? I'm scared too. <laughs> oh no, my battery. I guess this is definitely gonna be the last star of this part. <laughs> Unfortunately, I lost my drill, so I can't speedrun myself through this structure. I can't grab another one and pop out the other side. So obviously, you gotta kind of look at both sides and kind of think of it in 3D world. Not not Super Mario 3D world. You just gotta think of where each of those levels intersect. Like this one will intersect with the one that was right next to it, which will then take us over to the other side. And I think this is rock, right? Oh well, no, that's not rock, but it will uh, poop us over here, and that's useless. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go and try that again here. Gonna go back around. It's just a matter of finding your way here. Oh wait, is there actually? Hold on, I want to see if there's anything. Well, that was useless. <laughs> I just wanted to see if there's anything hidden where the camera is not showing. I think this is the one that I want to hit. It was not. I am filling my directions, and I lost my old hole. There we go. Yeah, the holes stick around for a little while so you can see the last place that you dug at. So that's pretty helpful, I've got to say. So and that means this is the one that I haven't tried. You can see there's no dig marks. And that'll take us right up to the top. Look at that! <laughs> and the gravity. The gravity is nightmarish. <laughs> Listen, yep, it's the beeping gimmick again. Boop, boop, and then the gravity flips. Get it? Got it? Good. So you gotta think think and think some more as to how you want to get through this without being fuzzy or something like that. And maybe I should have hit that. <laughs> maybe I should have hit that. Uh, well, I can get back over there, I think. Just need to get over here. Is this gonna flip the other way? Yeah, I remember this area. I, just, I, was, I was gonna say, I should have hit that the first time. The whole. The whole. Uh, uh, question mark, big coin there to see what would come out of it, but. But well. But well. <laughs> Gravity is just so awkward to work with here. I had to take this path anyway, so I'm not that concerned about having to zip through back through here anyway. And flip, flip. And zip, zip. Oh, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> Okay, what does this do? Uh, well, that's that's that that's never gonna happen. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna get these. Oh, uh, well, maybe I can. Uh, look at that! I pulled it off. <laughs> okay, so you gotta get this probably with the timing of said gravity as well as fuzzy because I don't think you can. Like, well, I guess you could take a hit and then lose your drill. And then do a spin to get there, but eh, you're fine. Oh wait, hold on a sec. I want to go yeah, back that away because I want to see if I can get. Uh, I'll forget it. It's just a one up. <laughs> uh, straight up and then to the right, I do believe. Yes. I might as well try it now. Whoa! I got him. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take a hit from the fuzzy though. Well. Well, there's plenty of drills to go by here. Uh, oh, I didn't take a hit from the fuzzy. Okay. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is not going to let me back over to the center without a fight. So, oh, oh. You got to take the long way around here. <laughs> and this way. And then up away. Or down away. That'll, that'll do. <laughs> 
Yeah! Alright, and due to my controller battery, as well as how long that first one took for some reason, I, <laughs> I probably should end off the part after any proceeding cutscenes, if any. So just give it a little charge. <laughs> hmm? Hmm? Same dialogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just click through that. <laughs> I like how they put me in green, though, you know, to imply me is Ouija. Okay, that's it. Oh, wait, what? Oh, you're telling me that my Wii Remote battery is low, aren't you? Aren't you? Oh no, it looks like your batteries are running low. What if they run out in a dangerous place? Be careful. I know, I know. So with that, I'm ending off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I am all charged up again. <laughs> I'm trying to think of that as an exciting way to put it, but it's not... Oh! It's, it's dead. It, it lasted until now. <laughs> that, that's, that's absolutely perfect. <laughs> so with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I have indeed recharged the batteries on the controller. See how exciting I made that sound? Yeah! Gameplay coming from it. That's what makes it exciting. <laughs>